Hatid sa inyo ng Cardinal Boy. Narito ang Planadong Buhay Podcast. This is your host, Chris Cervantes, your Applied Personal Finance Coach. Magbabahagi sa inyo ng mga pananaw, payong pang pinansyal, pang karyer at pagunlad upang ma-develop ang inyong potensyal. Magtrabaho ng puno ng inspirasyon at mamuhay ng maunlad. Ito ang Planadong Buhay Podcast. Ayan. <laughs> so good evening, good evening. Magandang magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. So nasaan po ba kayo nakikinig ngayon? Ayan. So magandang magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. So I hope safe po tayong lahat. So good evening, Coach Gerard. <laughs> so nakatune in si Coach Gerard. And of course, Sir Lance, good evening. So kumusta po kayong lahat? Sana safe po tayong lahat. Ano? So kaninang uh, kaninang hapon medyo umulan ng konti dito sa atin. I don't know sa inyo diyan sa sa lugar ninyo. Okay? So I hope safe po tayong lahat. So ayan bigla pong nawala yung aking ano. Uh, wait lang ano. <laughs> All right. So magandang magandang gabi. So ako po muli si Chris Cervantes, Christopher Cervantes kung hindi po ako man, kung hindi niyo po man ako kilala, no? So magandang magandang gabi sa ating lahat. So yan 43 ano ba tong 43 na ito? So ano pang an, ano po bang significance ng number 43? Well, 43 days from now tapos na po ang 2022. Grabe, ang bilis. At papasok na tayo sa bagong taon na 2023. So yan. So kumusta naman po? Yan. Kumusta po ang inyong nagdaang ano mga buwan? And kumusta kayo sa goal ninyo ngayong 2022? So ilang percent dan na po ba kayo? And excited na po ba kayo sa paparating na bagong taon? So ako po excited. I don't know kayo kung excited po ba kayo. Comment nyo nga po sa ating chat box kung excited po ba kayo sa paparating na bagong taon. So yan, hello Kate. Yan, good evening. And Cedric, good evening. Christine and of course, Boot from Iloilo. Yes, 43 days na lang po till 2023. At yan po ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong gabi. Diyan po iikot ang ating usapan ngayong gabi tungkol sa remaining 43 days na ito. Paano ba natin pwedeng gawing uh, matapos ang taong ito na malakas, stronger compared to last year? And hindi lang dapat basta strong. How can we finish this year strong and proud? Not just strong but proud. So ako lagi ko pang sinasabi sa mga kinocoach ko, no? If you're not yet proud, if you're not proud, you're not yet done. So, kayo po ba? Proud na po ba kayo sa nagawa ninyo for this year, for 2022? So, sino po sa inyo ang proud na proud na para sa taong 2022 at ready na po para sa 2023? So, pakicomment nyo nga sa ating chat box, me, me, ako po yun. <laughs> Well sana no marami tayong mga proud ng mga tao sa papasok na to, uh, sa patapos na taong ito. So ngayong gabi ito to, so ngayong gabi pong ito no, yan ang pag-uusapan natin. How to succeed big event in a really bad situation. I know some people are thinking na ang 2022 ay hindi pa ganun ka amazing. And how to increase your grit, resilience and adaptability. How to get hyper focused in a low st- in a flow state to produce 10 times results in a compressed period of time. Kasi kung kung iisipin natin ano yung iba parang gumib up na eh sabing ganoon wala na tapos na ang 2022 ano pa bang gagawin ko rito. Tapos na ito ayawan na. Pero alam niyo po ba may mga tao na in a matter of 24 hours may nagbabagong malaki sa buhay nila. So kayo po gaano kayo ka excited? So the truth is no the truth is the truth of 2022 right now uh, yan ang kailangan nating i-accept no na etong nangyari ngayon we are living through the most intense time of any of our uh, time of any of our lives so merong hindi pa rin tayo nakakawala sa pandemic may social unrest because of this uh, 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 in, in pending na ano na, na, na recession na, na kinatatakutan ng lahat na papasok tayo sa recession and mistrust in the media no parang wala nang nagtitiwala ngayon sa media and divisive politics 
mass unemployment and increased rate of apathy yung parang wala nang pakialam ang mga tao distraction consumption uh, con- uh, 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 depression addiction fear suicide and even hiwalayan di ba and sa, ka- sa madaling sabi laganap ngayon ang kawalan na ng pag-asa sa mundo hindi lamang po sa Pilipinas so yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon So it's very important no uh, being uh, be, being in control of everything. So being created in control that's the one thing no. Sabi nga ni Marshall Goodsmith no, if you do not create and control your environment, your environment will create and control you. Wow. <laughs> so it means hindi tayo creation dapat ng ating environment. Dapat we are creating our environment. Pwede ba yun? Yes, pwede naman. Ang kaibahan ng tao sa puno, no? ang, ang, ang tao, ang puno, wala siya magagawa. Once na tinanim siya ron, pag nilipat siya, ang laki ng chance na mamamatay siya. Pero tayo ang kagandahan, we can choose our own environment. In fact, we can create our own environment. At tayo dapat ang nagko-control noon. Hindi tayo dapat ang kinokontrol nito. So, right now, no? We're at 2022, but the question is, how is your 2022 going so far? Where are you right now? And gaano kayo ka-optimistic and hopeful sa paparating na bagong taon at sa mga darating pang taong darating? How much control do you feel you have over what happens in your life? Kayo ba yung tipo ng mga tao na karamihan ngayon na parang feeling nila uh, victim na victim sila? <laughs> and how much energy and motivation do you currently have? Parang uh, nakakabangon pa ba tayo ng masigla? <laughs> and how clear is your vision? Di ba sabi nga ganun, man without vision will perish, no? And how adaptive are you about executing and improving your strategy to get what you want? Ano ang ginagawa mo ngayon para lahat ng pangarap mo at ginugusto mo ay mangyayari sa buhay? That's very important na dapat may ginagawa tayo. Yes, parang 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 uh, nakakabaliw ang mundo ngayon pero believe me, Maraming mga tao sa gitna ng kabaliwang ito umaasenso at yumayaman sa panahong ito. Sabi nga ni Charles Darwin, ano, It is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. So, gaano kayo ka-adaptive? Sabi ni Albert Einstein, ano, The measure of intelligence is the ability to change. So, with the current setting that we have right now, gaano ka kabilis mag, mag, magbago? Gaano ka kabilis mag-adapt? Yes, uh, of course, no, bilang tao, no, even ako, uh, hindi naman natin maiwasan na nagre tayo sa mga nangyayari sa buhay natin, sa nangyayari sa paligid natin. But the question is, given na ganito na ang nangyayari, ikaw, how are you adapting? Paano ka, nag, paano ka sumusunod? Or paano mo pinasusunod ang buhay mo sa direksyon na kung saan ikaw ang may control? So, th- th- that's the big question, ano? So, um, um, the remaining 43 days of 2022. So, re- regardless, regardless of what has happened to this point, ano man ang nangyari sa inyo simula noong 2020, lahat tayo pinagpapasalamat natin yung pre-pandemic pero sino sa atin ang nagawang magpasalamat sa nagdaang 2020 at 2021, 2022? So ano man ang nangyari, no? regardless of what has happened to this point, this is a golden, hidden opportunity for all of us. These remaining 43 days are going to come and go. Before we blink, they will be over. But right now, We can stretch this out and really squeeze the juice out of it. We can expand and magnify it. We can accomplish more in the in less than ano in less than two months than we have in the last two day two years. 
Believe me, that's really possible. That's really possible. So, it stretch and slow down time. So, paano natin yung gagawin? Di ba sabi nga ganun, no? Uh, all we need to do is to, kung, kung parang feeling mo ang bilis-bilis ng panahon, so what do I need to do? So, just stretch and slow down time. So, stretch and slow down time. Paano nyo yung gagawin? Sabi ni Peter Diamandes, no? The faster you move, the slower time passes. The longer you live. Oh. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kapag mas busy raw tayo at productive, mas lalong bumabagal ang oras. Pansinin ninyo, yung mga taong hindi masyadong productive, eto yung mga taong parang, ay, naku, tapos na ang araw ko. Ay, naku, 2023 na pala. Ay, December na pala. Pero yung mga taong parang uh, kinukonsume, ginagamit in a productive way, minamaximize ang oras nila every minute of it, parang hindi nila namamalayan yung oras na nagdadaan. You, you, sabi, sabi ni Meredith Wilson, no? you pile up enough tomorrows and you'll find you are left with nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. <laughs> Ito yung mga tao na pa-procrastinate. No? Sige, pagpabukas mo yan, ipagpabukas mo yan. And what will happen is you will be left with nothing but a lot of empty yesterdays. So now, ladies and gentlemen, ano, so uh, if you will notice no, medyo matagal tayo sa 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 nawala sa ere, uh, medyo na nahimik tayo ng konti kasi naging busy-busy yan sa buhay. So that's why sabi kong ganun, maybe it's about time for me to go back to to what I love uh, doing, no? Ito yung gustong-gusto kong ginagawa, nagsi-share with anyone kasi uh, yes, yo, uh, ginagawa ko pa rin po yung seminar ko, yung monthly seminar ko, pero iba pa rin yung parang hindi mo kilala, hindi mo alam kung may nakikinig ngan sa yo. Hindi mo oh, kung may nakikinig po ngayon ano sa mga oras na ito, pwede po ba paki-share niyo naman po to para at least mas marami tayong ma ma matulungan ano. So I- iba pa rin yung ganito. So, uh, all, all we need to do is really is to, to have a whole new mindset and approach in life. So, how can you achieve your 10-year plan in the next 6 months? So, lahat naman tayo may plano sa buhay, di ba? But the, uh, 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 the question is, kung may plano ka, dapat may plano ka for short term, medium term, and long term. Long term is at least mga 10 years. But the question is, if you have this plan for the next 10 years, how can you achieve your 10-year plan in the next 6 months? So, pwede ba yan, Sir Chris? Uh, depende sa iyo. <laughs> Kung gusto mo, pwede naman siya. Kung ayaw mo, of course, lahat ng, 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 paraan, lahat ng dahilan para hindi siya mangyari, mangyari siya. And in, in order to accurately answer this question, you, you need to have a 10-year plan. Uh, y- y- that's the problem. The reason kung bakit uh, for most of us walang nangyayari sa buhay, to begin with, is we don't have 10-year plan. So the question is, what is your 10-year plan? Meron ba? So where where would you love to be in the next 10 years from now? Question is, who is your future self 10 years from now? Who is your... An- anong nakikita ninyo sa sarili ninyo 10 years from now? Meron ba? So, kung wala, dyan tayo may problema. So, ayan. So, uh, balikan natin natin chat box. Yan, may mga bati pala rito. Hello, Rachel. Uh, good evening. And, and of course, si Sir Gerard. No? So, nag agree siya sa mga pinagsasabi ko. Thank you so much. No? At least, uh, I know I'm making sense. No? <laughs> so, um, um, all, all we need to do is really to have a new approach. no uh, A new approach and new mindset. So, um, sabi nga ni, ano, no? ni Peter Thiel, no? How can you achieve your 10-year plan in the next 6 months? So, si Peter Thiel, isa yung uh, magaling na, ano, na investor. No? So, kung paano lumaki ang Facebook ngayon, isa sa, sa mga dahilan doon dahil siya yung naniwala doon. So, from here, no? from here, uh, this is what I want you to understand. So, this is what I want you to really understand. Remember this, guys. no? Future drives everything you do. Ulitin ko ha. Future drives everything you do. So, and then, how to increase hope and motivation? Yan, yan, yan ang dapat na tinatanong ninyo. And, 
uh, how to become way more adaptive and greedy so you can thrive in the worst situation. So we, it means, no, we have to clarify the single result you need to create before the end of 2022. Meaning, making bigger leaps and adapting faster. So, we, we have to dial in your strategy so you're making bigger leaps and adapting faster. Strategies to create, uh, to, to, to accelerate your progress and momentum. Dapat may mga strategies tayo for that. So, that's my invitation for all of you. So, kaya nga, no, kung, kung feeling ninyo parang uh, yung 2020 ninyo, parang gulong-gulo pa kayo, bakit nagkaganito tong taong ito? At parang, bakit ganun? Parang masasayang na naman ito. Lalo na when it comes to money, no? Money, business, and your dreams. So, by the way, no? Kung hindi pa po kayo naka-atte ng aking seminar, I'm inviting you this coming December 10. December 10, that's 2 p.m., uh, via Zoom lang naman din po siya, via Zoom, virtual lang po siya. So please attend my, my flagship seminar, Financial Planning for the Fast Changing World. Base po yan sa librong ginawa ko, na, yun din ang title, Financial Planning for the Fast Changing World. And from there, no, I hope kung, kung, kung na-inspire po kayo sa mga sinasabi ko ngayong gabing ito, sa seminar na yan, mas maiintindihan nyo po siya. Mas marami kayong maiintindihan, lalo na tungkol sa mga pangarap ninyo. This is, not just, this is not just about money, this seminar. Kasi ako, I do believe, money is a result. Money is a result. Money is a result of what? Kung paano ka, kung gaano ka committed, gaano ka ka-responsible, how excellent you are in your job, money is the result. So, I, 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 I suggest, no, if you want to change the way you are seeing your result, your money, I mean, you're enjoy, enjoying your money, you have to change your strategies and values in life. So let's talk about this, no? A kanina, a while ago, I, I told you that your future drives you. Your future drives you. That's very true. Kasi may mga tao na, na walang pananaw sa buhay, walang tinitignan sa future. Eto yung mga taong okay na sa kanila na gigising sa umaga, mag-aalmusal, mag-toothbrush, mag-aantay ng tanghalian, pagdating ng hapon, mag-aantay ng kape, then sa gabi mag-aantay ng teleserye, bukas gano'n na naman ulit. May mga taong gano'n. Eto yung mga taong wala nang ina-anticipate pa for the next 5 years, 10 years. Kasi sa kanila, matapos lang tong araw na ito, okay na ako, blessed na ako. Pero may mga taong hindi gano'n ang purpose in life. Ang purpose nila is to make a difference. I ibang usapan doon sila mas excited sila doon sa hindi pa nila na experience kasi they want to bring future into the present so eto yung sinasabi kong your future drives you so your future is what really drives you so if you will notice no the entire field of psychology has made a shift nagbago na so um, um, the cutting edge research shows the cutting edge research shows that it, th that is not the case. So, prospection. What do you mean by prospection? Prospection means the ability to imagine, create, see, see the future. So, if you want to have a better life, you must have a deeper prospection in life. The ability to imagine, create, see, see the future. Sabi nga ni, ano, no, ni Marty Seligman, no? The future is our nature. We are creating who are drawn into the future. So, the future is our nature. Hindi katulad ng mga uh, normal na mga hayop, no? Sa kanila, parang wala lang. Ano yung mangyari ngayong araw na ito? Okay na sila. Pero bilang isang tao, hindi tayo ganon. So, I, 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 iba ang ating ano we, we have this uh, prospection that's very important for us and yun ang reason kung bakit may mga taong nakaisip na dalhin ang tao sa, mua, sa buwan ngayon sa Mars and even sa Pluto they're thinking about it no because of what they see in the future yan ang kaibahan natin so your, your, your future is what drives you so all behavior is outcome or goal-driven. 
Everything you do, create an outcome. Everything you do is driven by a future. So th- th- that's it. The challenge for most people is their own future. Why? Because uh, some people, uh, 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 lahat naman tayo may ability makita yung, kumbaga, makakita ng kung anong hinaharap. But for some people, they're using this ability to see the future in a bad manner. What do you mean, what do I mean by that? Yung ibang tao, nakikita nila, puro masama ang nang mangyayari in the future. Ay, nako, ganito ang mangyayari sa akin in the future. Ay, mamalasin. Ay, magkakasakit ako. Ay, hindi ko kakayanin yan. Do you get me? <laughs> Di ba may mga kilala tayo mga ganyan? Yung parang, uh, parang ne- ne- negatron. Or sana wag naman kayo ito, ha? <laughs> so kaya, please, no? If you really want to have a better life, have a better future. So our future shapes our identity, how we define ourselves. And our identity shapes our actions and behaviors. Kasi kung ano yung tingin mo sa sarili mo, ganun ka mag-react eh, ganun ka mag-behave. And ganun ka rin kikilos. And how you see yourself is based highly dependent on how you see your future self. Our actions and behaviors create our results. Ulitin ko ha, our actions and behavior creates the result that we are wanting. Or sometimes, even yung hindi natin gusto. So again, uulitin natin. Your future is what drives you. So think about yourself for a minute. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you spend so much time the way you do? Like for example, ikaw ba yung tipo ng tao ng Netflix ng Netflix? Basa ng basa, trabaho ng trabaho. So why do you spend your time that the, the way you do? And, and, and why do you have the job you have? Ba't yan ang ginagawa mo ngayon? Ba't yan ang pinili mo? And why do you do anything you do? So again, it's all based on your future view of your own future. It's all based on your view of your own future. Bakit may mga taong nag-a-abroad? Bakit may mga taong iniisip nila, magmamigrate na lang ako sa Canada, magmamigrate na lang ako sa US? Kasi yun ang nakikita nila sa future. We eat because we're hungry. We, we work to pay bills. We go to the gym to be healthy. Everything we do is to create a desired result. But what if we choose a different result? What if we choose a different future? So if you want to have a different result, have a different future. Have a different future. So sabi nga ni, ano, no, no, ni, ni Daniel Gilbert, Human beings are works in progress that mistakenly think they are finished. No. People don't spend much time imagining their future self. That's the problem. We, we, we overemphasize the past and the present, but we never dwell on the future. Yes, it's important to live in the present, but always remember we are a product of our futures. Meaning, kung ano yung nai-experience mo ngayon, nai-experience mo yan at nangyayari yan sa'yo because few years back, yan yung naiisip mo. We give ourselves labels like introvert, depressed. That's, that's, that's the present moment eh. Yes, depressed ka ngayon, introvert ka ngayon, pero is that what you see for your future? We assume that Who we are now is who we really are and who will always be. But no, there's always a future. So, of course, no, I understand that your future self is different person. And we must understand that, no? Your, your future self is a different person. The analogy of Of, 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 of the future self as another person may seem like a strange one. 
but it is rather powerful when it comes to understanding long-term decision-making. So if you will notice, no, you're not the same person you were 10 years ago. Ibang-iba ka na. Your future self will also be a, a very different person. Yung, yung nangyayari sa'yo ngayon, yung itsura mo ngayon, the way you talk, the way, the way you think, 10 years from now, I will bet you will be totally different. Depende yan. Again, depende kung nakikita mo iba ang future. They will, they, will, they will be evolved, more knowledgeable, different goals, different priorities, better decision. Hopefully. <laughs> the question is, who is your future self going to be? How different will they be from who you are today? Have you decided who you're going to be? And are you committed in being the, your future self? So the problem is, eto ang problema, if we have a small future, that, that's the problem. <laughs> Kasi karamihan sa atin, nakikita natin ang ating future self depende sa kung anong sitwasyon natin ngayon. So that's the problem. So, most people don't see big future. They believe their future will basically be what is happening now. So, ito yung sinasabi ni Dr. Carol Dweck, uh, nasabi niyang fixed mindset, no? Yung parang, wala na. Ganito na ako pinanganak, ganito yung nanay ko, ganito tatay ko, ganito na rin ako mamamatay. So, fix na yung kanilang future. Most people's future isn't much different from their present. That's the problem. That's so depressing. And in today's world, most people's future is worse than their present. So, their behavior is becoming worse and worse. <laughs> okay. So, ano ba ang pangangailangan ng pagkakaroon ng pag-asa sa buhay? Of course, no? Sabi nga ni, ano, ni, ni the Dr. Samandar Cohen. Sabi niya ganun, Without hope, there can be no basic for confidence which, in, which informs goals directed action. So, greed depends on a different kind of hope. Kaya yung iba, mga ma, ma, matatatag ang uh, uh, matatatag yung loob, matitibay ang loob, greedy. Simply because may kakaiba silang pag-asang tinitignan sa buhay. And uh, uh, ako, I do believe, no? I do believe na, yes, we should be very hopeful. We should be very, very, very hopeful, no? So that's a very important ingredient in life. Pero anong ibig sabihin pa ng pagiging hopeful? Kasi yung iba, parang ang ginagawa na lang nila is, uh, yes, I'm hoping na sana in the future mas maayos ang buhay namin. But the question is, anong ginagawa mo? Kasi hope is not a good strategy. Hope alone is not a good strategy. In fact, hope is a product of three components. Product of three components ang hope. At ano ito? Ano itong components na ito? Number one, vision. Pangalawa is what? Strategy. Kaya hope alone is not a good strategy. Hindi pwedeng hopeful ka lang. You, you must have a good vision, strategy, and what else? Confidence. And there, hope lies. Kapag kompleto yung tatlong yan, doon ka nagiging, kumpa, parang ang klarong-klaro yung mangyayari sa iyo sa mga darating na panahon. So, so uh, an anong ibig sabihin nun? So, Hope, no? Hope is equal to adapting and improving. So, high hope people also find multiple pathways to reach their goals and willingly try to approach new things. While yung mga mabababa, yung mga pag-asa sa buhay, uh, sa kabilang manda, they stick on one approach and do not try other avenues when, 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 when being challenged. Instead of ano no yung parang pagiging reactive sa kung anong nangyaring problema sa buhay, the low hope people often use counterproductive avoidance in disengagement thinking. So kapag may problema, magdi-disengage yan. Uh, uh, ako na na-experience ko yan ano kasi ang dami nang pumasok na mga financial advisors at mga financial planners sa Cardinal Boy 
And may kita ko yon kung ano yung level ng tao, kung gaano ito ka-hopeful, gaano ito ka-kalawak yung vision niya sa buhay. Kapag napang, napanghihinaan yan, magdi-disengage na lang. Hindi na magpaparamdam, hindi man lang magte-text, hindi na nagre-reply. Binabaliwala ka na. Kasi, kumbaga, parang wala naman siya nakikitang pag-asa eh. So, tama nga naman. Ba't mo sasayangin ang oras mo sa isang bagay na alam mo wala kang pag-asa? So, reinforce in a short term by by uh, they reinforce their ano their their their, their uh, short term uh, strategies in in avoiding thoughts low hope continued passivity so unfortunately they do not learn from past experiences alam no and, and, and if you will notice na yung mga taong they keep on failing yun pa rin naman ang paulit-ulit na attitude nila ginagawa nila ang problema is sometimes we do not learn from our past mistakes or experiences while high hope people however they use information about not reaching their goals as diagnostic feedback to search for their feasible approaches for example hindi ko na hit yung goal ko ngayong month na ito okay yung ibang tao ang thinking noon okay i'm a failure ililabel lang sarili nilang failure sila pero yung mga high hope people okay hindi ko na reach hindi ako nag 100% for this month Anong natutunan ko rito? Ah, okay. Ito pala dapat ang ginawa kong strategies. Ah, okay. So, nakita ko na pag ito yung ginagawa ko, et, dadalhin ako dito. So, now, ang gagawin ko is ito yung gagawin ko pag dumarating ito. So, it's very important that we know how to tweak things by being hopeful instead of being victim. So, pag may nangyari na hindi mo gusto, just ask, eto ba ang gusto ko? Hindi. So, kung hindi ito ang gusto mo, ano ang gusto mo? Ah, eto. So, kung yan ang gusto mo, ano ang kailangan mong gawin? Or, what do you need to be for you to have what you want? So, I need to be committed. I need to be responsible. Okay. So, now, what else? What do I need to do? Ano ang kailangan kong gawin? This time, action naman. Kailangan na action ka. Hindi lang basta... Basta ano lang, positive thinking, positive thinking. Hindi yan ma- ma- makukuha ng simpleng positive thinking. Kailangan positive action din. If you are thinking positively, you should acting positively as well. So, ano yung mga bagay na pwede nyo gawin na alam nyo, mga positive actions or steps or strategies na alam nyo magdad- maglalapit sa inyo papunta sa goals ninyo? That's the big question. So now, kaya nga no, uh, I, I'm inviting all of you no, kung 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 wala po kayong gagawin sa sa di, di sa, sa December 10, isa ito sa mga positive actions na pwede niyo gawin. Learn from me. This is a 4-hour session na libre. My god, apat na oras ka mag-aaral. Ewan ko kung hindi ka pa makapulot ng isang bagay na pwede mong i-apply sa buhay mo dahil lang nag-aral ka. Sa mga taong, hindi lang naman sa akin. Learn from others no na alam niyo and uh, uh, ako, no, uh, this is my suggestion for all of you. We all want to learn from, le- but, but, but learn from whom, no? Kanino dapat tayo matuto? Uh, ako, I suggest, if you really want to learn from someone, always check ano ba yung result na nadala ng taong ito. Kasi, kung ito yung result na nadala niya, question is, yan din ba ang result na gusto kong gawin? Yan din ba ang result na gusto kong mangyari sa akin? If yes, then I'll ask support from this person and I want to learn from him or from her. So, now, the question is, ano ang pwede niyong gawin for your remaining 43 days? So, kalimutan niyo na yung tatlong araw. Sige, magpahinga kayo for the next three days, no? Magpahinga kayo for the next three days, mag-isip kayo, mag-goal setting kayo, mag-strategize kayo, paano mag end itong taong ito na alam niyo magiging stronger ka, you will end your year stronger, and hindi lang stronger, proud. Na alam mo magiging proud ka. So, kaya three days, mag-isip ka, planning, thinking, so that so, you can have a, a, a well-rounded year na magiging masaya ka at magiging proud ka at magiging, uh, magiging amazing tong taong ito. So, Tatlong araw, mag-isip ka, mag ka, pero the question is, how, uh, uh, what are you going to do for the next 40 days? 40 days. So, dial down your vision. So first, no, that's what I want you to do. First, dial down your vision. 
The question is, sabi nga ni Gary Keller, no, what is the one thing I can do such that by doing it, everything else will be easier or unnecessary? O di ba? Ano yung isang bagay na pwede nyo gawin na pag ginawa nyo ito, hindi nyo na kailangan gawin yung iba pa or kung gagawin nyo man yung iba, mas magiging mas madali. Because, sabi niya, extraordinary results are directly determined by how narrow you can make your focus. When you spread yourself out, you end up spreading. So, now, if that's the case, ano ang dapat kong maging behavior? Go all in. All in. All in on your one thing. What do you mean by all in in one your in one thing? Al- alam niyo po ba kung bakit hindi natatalo ang casino ever? Alam niyo ba ang reason ko bakit walang kasinong natatalo? Kahit na may nananalo na milyon-milyon, still walang natatalong kasino? Alam niyo kung bakit? Kasi walang taong sugarol na willing tumayang all-in. At hindi lahat ng nagsusugal kayang tumaya ng all-in. That's the thing. Just imagine kung lahat ng sugarol sa ano, sa sa sa, sa kasino, tataya all-in, san lako asawa ko, san lako biyanan ko, san lako nanay ko, basta't mananalo ako, itataya ko lahat 'yan. Walang ganoon eh. Subukan nilang tumaya talaga all-in. Tignan ko kung hindi to maubiyang kasinong yan. So, we are kept from our goals not by obstacles but by a clear path to lesser goals. Kasi mas malinaw yung ano yung mas safer na route eh. Mas madaling puntahan yun eh. If you go, if, if you got hyper-focus on one thing over the next, uh, over the next uh, 40 days, how far can, how far do you think you could go? Just imagine if you could eliminate all the distractions. Ano mangyari sa'yo? If you eliminated uh, your other goals, unrelated goals. And just imagine if you will be able to stop playing small. Ano ang pwede mong gawin? So, what are the lesser goals you're currently chasing? Ano ba yung mga pinaggagawa mo ngayon sa buhay na alam mong, ito yung lesser goals ko ito eh. Alam ko hindi magbibigay sa akin ng malaking result ito. Ano yung mga pinaggagawa mong yan? <laughs> what plan B's are you investing your best energy into? Lahat ng energy mo, lahat ng focus mo nando sa plan B, sa plan A, wala. Bakit? Kasi natatakot ka do sa plan A. What if you went all in on your one thing and created the future? Di ba? Magiging amazing ang lahat. So, now, that's very important, no? So, you need a clear and compelling outcome. You need confidence that you can create the result. You need a path of strategy to get what you want. What is your current path? That's the question. Sa tingin mo, sa, sa mga action mo ngayon, sa direction mo ngayon, saan ka papunta niyan? Please, try to think about it seriously. Sa ginagawa mo ngayon, saan ang punta mo niyan? <laughs> How are you currently going about getting what you want? Are your current rate, y- y- sa, 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 sa kilos mo ngayon, sa takbo ngayon, gaano ka kabilis darating sa gusto mong puntahan? And siguro, isang tanong dyan is, bakit mo pinipili tong path na ito yung tinatahak mo ngayon? And how effective is your current strategy? What what if you had better knowledge, di ba? Better confidence and courage. Or what if you had more support and resources? Di ba? So, sige, tignan nga natin. Ayun, may mga uh, balik lang tayo diyan. Hello Sir Bu- ano si uh, yeah, hello hello Sir Roy you know so si Roy ang isa sa aking mga mini mentor and of course si Ma'am Florida good evening yan good evening okay 
Uh, si Edgar pala. Si Sir Edgar ay naka-tune in. Hello, Sir Edgar. Okay. So, ayun. So, sabi ni Coach ano, no, Gerard, no, highly recommended yung webinar na yan. So, please attend kayo on December 10. Okay. So, uh, balik tayo kay, ano, no, kay Peter Thiel. So, uh, sabi ni Peter Thiel, how can you achieve your 10-year plan in the next 6 months? So, we're talking of 6 months here. So, kung meron kang, ano, kung meron kang 10-year plan, paano mo ito pwedeng i-compress in 6 months? So, so the, the, uh, for me, no, commitment is a statement of what is. So, what do you mean by that? So, uh, very simple. If you want to compress the, no, the, the, the result, all you need to do is to really commit. And commitment is a statement of what is. Commitment is a statement of what is. You can know what you're committed you are, you can know what you're committed to by your results. Look at your results. Doon mo malalaman kung ano yung commitment mo. Ano yung commit, uh, commitment level mo. Not, but, not, not by what you say your commitments are. You are all committed. We are all committed. We are all producing results. The result is proof of a commitment. The question is, gusto mo ba yung result na nakukuha mo? Kasi kung hindi, all you need to do is to change the level of your commitment. That's it. So, I don't know kung, kung ano, narinig nyo na yung idea ni, ano, ni Alex Banayan. So, may, 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 may sinasabi si Alex Banayan na there's always the third door. What do you mean by the third door? Ganito siya. So, there's the first door. The main entrance where 99% of people wait in line hoping to get in. Ay, sana makapasok ako. And then, the second door, the VIP entrance where the billionaires and celebrities sleep through. Ito yung mga sumisingit na lang sa linya. Na, 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 and then, yung special door na kung saan. Pag mga billionaires ka, VIP ka, doon ang pasok mo. But, sabi niyang ganun, but, what no one tells you is that there's always, always the third door. It's the entrance where you have to jump out of line, run down the alley, bang on the door a hundred times, crack open the window, sneak through the kitchens. There's always a way. So unfortunately, karamihan sa atin, we're, we're trained to, to what? Fall in line. Wait, your, wait for your turn. So, but, uh, ang sinasabi niya is, kung talagang gusto mong isang bagay, bakit aantayin mo ang turn mo? Bakit aantayin mo ang pagkakataong dumating ito para sa'yo? But hindi ikaw ang gumawa ng pagkakataon mismo. So, in the next 43 days, in the next 43 days, how much progress will you make? Not maybe, not possible, not hopefully. But how much are you committed to making? So, most people have thrown the towel in this uh, third past 30 days and even this remaining 43 days. They don't have profound future they've committed to. Instead, they are committed to doing waiting and wishing. Most people's views view of their future is bleak, uncertain, and negative. Uh, our view of our own future determines our physical, mental health, our attitude, and our behavior here and now. So again, it's very important that we view our future self. Ano ang nakikita ninyo sa inyong sarili? Who is your future self? Where will you where will you be on January 1st 2023? How committed are you seriously to producing massive results in the next 30 days or then in the next 43 days I mean Are you ready to increase your confidence in strategy? Ready ka na ba? So kung ready ka na maybe it's about time for you to sit down sit down for the next 3 days and ask yourself, what do I need to be and what do I need to do 
for me to maximize this remaining 43 days so that so I can end 2022 stronger and proud. So let's end this year strong and proud. So now, uh, again, ano, so uh, for you to, uh, for me to help you in, in, in finishing your year strong and proud, I inviting you again on December 10, that's 2 p.m. Uh, via Zoom, please attend this free webinar. This is my last offering for this year. Um, and, and by the way, no, if, uh, if kumaaten nyo lang tong webinar na ito, may kita ninyo kung gaano, ka, uh, kung ano ang value nito. And then from there, no, tignan natin. Tignan natin kung paano namin kayo pwede pang mas tulungan. So kanina, no, bago pumasok sa live na ito, live na, uh, na, na session na ito, uh, nanggaling ako sa isang coaching session, uh, dalawang tao na naka-attend ng last seminar last uh, November. And tuwan-tuwa sila sa kung anong mga pinag-usapan namin kasi ngayon mas klaro na ang future para sa kanila. And sana, isa ka rin sa matulungan ko in the future or even this year. So now, all we need to do is to really accelerate your results. Accelerate your results. That's the one thing that we need to do. We have to accelerate the result. Create conditions that forces that force success. Kailang gumawa kayo ng condition yung sa buhay na kung baga parang pipilitin mo talaga, pipilitin ka ng sarili mong maging successful. Sabi, ang tawag doon is inevitably thinking. Inevitably thinking is thinking and acting as if you as if what you are doing is a foregone conclusion because you set up the condition for it to happen. Kumbaga parang hindi na to questionable bakit ko to ginagawa. Kasi nakakondition na ako na mangyayari yung future ko. Like parang sa mga construction ano si Coach Jared nandito, architect po siya. So nagde-design sila ng bahay pero hindi sila nagko-question kung mangyayari ba yung design nila or hindi. Hindi, hindi nila pinag-uusapan yung kung, kung pangit ba ito maganda kasi alam na nila kung dinisay namin ito maganda maganda ang result niyan or mas maganda pa kaysa sa kung paano namin ito plinano kasi habang ginagawa mo yung plano habang ini-execute mo yung plan nag adjust ka along the way doon mo nakikita yung ah, siguro mas maganda lagyan natin ng ganito and paano nangyayari? Sem simple lang plina plano kasi so Again ano, sabi uh, uh, ulitin ko yung sinabi ni ano no ni, ni ni Charles Darwin. Sabi nga ni Charles Darwin ano, it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. So, the question is, what is your view of your, of your future? How adaptive is your strategy? And how many power moves will you make in the next 60 days? Or wag na 60 days. In the next 40 days. So, ano yung mga power moves na gagawin mo? What if you took massive action for the last 43 days of 2022? Just imagine, no? And, just imagine this. What if you remove all negative media in your life? So, tignan ninyo. Ano yung mga binabasa ninyo? Baka may mga kailangan kayong alisin dyan. Where will you be on January 1st, 2023? And, where will you be in 2033, 10 years from now? So, the question is, would you like massive support and accountability for 2022 and beyond? So, if you're looking for a good supporter, someone who can coach you, who can mentor you, we're here in Cardinal Bui, no? So that's what we do. We bring the future of our clients to the present by taking action now. So are you ready for your upgrade? Just imagine what would happen if you consistently take bold action every day towards your future. How would you feel to continually clarify your focus and momentum? Of course, no. Uh, uh, you can do this on your own. You can do this on your own. But if you're the type of person who wants to rely on a proven science-based system, uh, we have this what we call uh, 
uh, 90-day coaching session program. We offer that for the people we serve, no, sa mga clients namin. May strategies kami mga tinuturo. So if you're interested in knowing more about that, please message us in Cardinal Boy or anyone from Cardinal Boy, and we can offer you that. So, so if you want someone in your corner to support your transformation, then I'd like to start embracing vulnerability. I'd like you to start embracing vulnerability and ask for support. There are people who are always willing to support you. So, may mga taong ano, may mga taong, believe me, handang tumulong para sa inyo. May mga taong nandyan palagi para supportahan tayo. And sana, no, sana matuto tayong lumapit sa mga taong ito para nang sa ganun, mas ma-enjoy natin ang ating buhay. Okay? Para nang sa ganun, matapos natin ang taong ito ng lahat tayo proud. So, now. So, ayan. So, balikan natin ang ating chat box. So, we are here to support you, sabi nga ni Sir Edgar. Si Sir Edgar ay isa po sa mga kasama namin sa Cardinal Bui. No? So, I hope, no, uh, sa loob ng nagdaang uh, isang oras na ito, uh, nakapagdagdag po ako ng konting kaalaman at nakapagbigay ng konting inspirasyon para sa inyong lahat. And do you want to end your year with a bang, uh, with a great hope, gratitude, and of course, no, and, and with a great hope, and of course, uh, uh, end your year proud? Simple lang ang kailangan natin gawin. Napakasimple lang. Uh, minsan, ano, may mga strategies tayong ginagawa na parang hindi nag-work. Eh, but that's okay, no? Hindi naman lahat ng dinidesign natin talagang nangyayari. But the question is, every time na nag-fail tayo, ano ang ginagawa natin? Paano tayo bumabangon? And for me, napakasimple lang yan. Minsan, uh, kasi kahit gaano katindi ang effort na ibinigay natin, parang piling, piling natin, parang, parang kulang na kulang pa rin palagi. So kaya ako, I always say, no? Always come from gratitude. What do you mean by gratitude? Sabi ng dictionary, the quality of being thankful, readiness to show, appreciate, for and return kindness. So, siguro yun lang ang minsan nakukulangan tayo, no? We have to really be grateful in life. Uh, September, last September, no? I'm so grateful to what happened in, in, in one, of, one of the things that happened in my life. Kasi uh, kung, kung kilala nyo po ako, kilala, kung, kung, maram, kung kilala nyo po ako, lalo na personally, no? alam nyo po na ako po ay dating seaman, kapitan ng barko. Uh, I've I, I traveled a lot. No? So marami na po ako mga bansang napuntahan. Uh, uh, Europe, America, South America, name it. Pero last September, nag-travel po ako. So, nagpunta ako ng um, Turkey. Uh, pero, pinaka, uh, pinaka most memorable trip ito for me. You know why? Uh, I've been into Turkey uh, many times before, no? lalo na nagbabar ko pa ako. Uh, dyan, lalo na dyan sa Bosporus Street. No? Pagpupunta kami ng Russia, dumadaan kami dyan. Pero yung, yung September, tuwan-tuwa ako kasi kasama ko yung anak ko si Matthews. And, Pinaka natutuwa ako doon kasi kasama ko yung anak ko plus first time ko nag-cross ng Bosporus Street na hindi ako seaman, hindi ako nagbabarko. And dati, 10 years ago, iniisip ko lang yon Sabi kong ganun, gusto kong magdaan dito, mag-travel dito. Pero gusto ko, hindi ako seaman. Kundi, tourist talaga, tourist. And nangyari yon ng dahil sa misyong ginagawa kong ito, Kilala nyo naman po siguro ako. I'm a financial advisor and a financial planner. And we offer AIA Philippines and, and kung, yung mga iba pang mga uh, financial institution. And because of what I'm doing, no, um, AIA Philippines gave me this incentive. And tuwan-tuwa ako kasi kasama ko yung anak ko. So, uh, I want to share this video with you. Saglit lang po ito. Sana panoorin nyo. Hello, Cardinal Boy. Nandito ako ngayon sa Taksim Square. Welcome to Turkey!
Hello, welcome to Istanbul. And for the first time, I'll be crossing and we'll be crossing the uh, uh, Bosporus Strait. Now, 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 I'm going cross the Bosporus Strait. Na hindi si man, nakakatuwa grabe, no? So, eto mga kasama ko. Ayan. So, I'm so glad na I chose this career. And uh, because of this, I'm enjoying this life together with man. I hope you too. Alright, ayan. So, alam niyo po, no? Um, nung araw, nung nasa matindi pa ako, nung uh, matinding kahirapan pa ng buhay, no? Lahat ng mga bagay na na-experience ko ngayon, even yan, ano? Isa lang yan sa mga tinitignan ko. Uh, sabi ko, sana mangyari ito, mangyari ito. And that's the reason why I'm sharing the importance of having a clear vision 
of having a future, a good future. Kasi lahat ng nai-enjoy ko ngayon sa buhay, nangyayari siya, nai-enjoy ko ngayon simply because when I was a kid, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, even 30 years ago, I'm envisioning my future. Ikaw, ano ang nakikita mo ngayon para sa future mo? So if you want to create a better future for yourself, for your family, or even for this country, tara, let me guide you. With that, maraming maraming salamat po. I hope kahit papano nakatulong po ako sa inyo ngayong gabing ito. At sana kahit papano may natutunan po kayo sa akin. So sa susunod po ling biyernes, magkita-kita tayo. Same time po, 6pm until 7pm. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much for being with me this uh, evening. So God bless you all. Bye-bye. So tandaan ninyo, no? Kung gusto ninyong magbago ang inyong buhay, kailangan ninyo kasama kasamang mga taong mag, 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 makakaagapay sa pag-unlad ng inyong buhay. Thank you po. God bless you all.